Emmanuel Macron has been receiving more and more attention from around the world since the French presidential election in 2022. Macron is best recognized for his time as France's president. Interestingly, he is also one of Andorra's co-princes. Here's everything you need to know about this prominent member of the political class, 45 years old, who's expected to fulfill all of his campaign promises and make France prosperous. Did you know that Emmanuel Macron was ranked number 12 on the 2018 Forbes list of the world's most powerful people? He still carries a significant image in the eyes of the people. What gives him such power? Has his political history played a role? His ancestor's legacy? Or possibly his great affluence? That begs the most interesting question though. What is the French president's potential net worth? In response to that question, it appears that the sources couldn't add up to the same overall amount of his wealth. He's been estimated to be worth varying sums of money by various sources. According to available information, he's a millionaire. Could he be a hidden billionaire? This video will cover a lot of topics, including his instrumental upbringing, his schooling, his professional path, and his fortune. So stick around all the way to the end. Emmanuel Macron was not raised in a religious household, but at the age of 12, he requested to be baptized as a Catholic, so he was. The 21st day of December 1977 marks Macron's birthday. He was raised in Amiens by a doctor mother and a professor father, and he has two siblings. You may have observed that in some of his talks, Mr. Macron speaks English fluently, which is unusual for European speakers. Some people have even claimed that his English is better than Donald Trump's. Let's just move on and not waste time on minor subjects. However, it's important to highlight that Macron's paternal great-grandfather was an Englishman from Bristol in the United Kingdom, which accounts for his fluency in the language. He was accepted to Paris Nanterre University to pursue a DEA in philosophy and the Paris Institute of Political Studies, Science Po, awarded him a master's degree in public affairs. He assisted Paul Ricoeur, a French Protestant philosopher, in his editing work while he was still pursuing his higher education. Additionally, he served as a member of the editorial board for the literary journal E-Spirit in France. During his time at Sciences Po, he also worked as an assistant to Mayor Georges Serre of Paris's 11th arrondissement. After earning his degree in 2004, Macron joined the General Inspectorate of Finance, a division of the Finance Ministry, as an inspector. In 2008, Macron quit his job and started working as an investment banker at the global investment bank and financial services firm Rothschild & CIE. According to several financial filings, Emmanuel Macron has amassed millions of euros during his successful banking career. He was given the responsibility of leading Nestlé's acquisition of one of Pfizer's largest businesses focused on infant drinks in 2010 after being appointed as managing director. Obtaining a cool 2.9 million euros, the deal reportedly made Mr. Macron a millionaire for the first time. Macron left Rothschild and Xi in 2012 and according to official records, he earned about 3 million euros between 2009 and 2013. At the age of 24, President Macron joined the Socialist Party, a French center-left and social democratic political party, and began his ascent of the greasy political pole. In 2010, he became a member of Francois Hollande's office. While Macron had begun his political career early, he didn't truly have a post until he was chosen to serve as the Deputy Secretary General of the Elysee, a key position in President Francois Hollande's administration in 2012. He held that job for barely two years until being chosen to be the Minister of Economics and Industry in Manuel Valls second cabinet in 2014. Due to his support for the EU and considerably more moderate stance, Macron, who was the youngest person to hold the role, was dubbed the anti montebourg by the media. While serving in the cabinet for two years, he introduced a number of business-friendly reforms. Nonetheless, they grew criticism since they were not public-friendly. In 2015, Macron resigned from the Socialist Party, and in 2016, he founded the Independent Party en marche. After leaving the cabinet and devoting himself to the en marche campaign, he ran for president of France in 2017. This received extensive media coverage, making Macron the center of attention. The media was aware of the trends in Macron's fundraising and standard presidential campaign fundraising strategies. According to reports, he was able to raise 3.7 million euros for his campaign without using any public funds which put him under fire from various people who demanded a list of his contributors and accused him of having conflicts of interest because of Macron's prior work for the Rothschild Group. To help his campaign, Macron used his strong literary skills to publish his first public book named Revolution. 
News reports claim that the book was one of the best-selling books in France in 2016 and sold approximately 200,000 copies during its publication run. The election of Macron as president of France for the next five years took place on May 7, 2017, and he won 66% of the vote against Marine Le Pen's 33%. Macron claimed a number of firsts, including being the 39-year-old youngest president in French history, the youngest head of state since Napoleon, and the first president of France to be born after the foundation of the Fifth Republic in 1958. In the presidential election in April 2022, he once again easily defeated his bitter adversary, Marine Le Pen. He's the first French president to win a second term since Jacques Chirac in 2002, thanks to his re-election to the position. If you want to know more about Marine Le Pen's interesting childhood and overwhelming success as a political tycoon, check out our video on her. The high taxes on the working and middle class, fuel prices, and the cost of living and economic disparity calls for a leader that France can rely on. Following his election, Macron implemented several changes that had an impact on taxation, law enforcement authorities, and labor regulations. President Macron is allegedly accused of being the president of the very rich and an ultra-liberal president for the rich due to his policies being in the interest of the wealthy and the elite. It even makes one consider how he could be referred to as the man of the people after having established connections to the Rothschild Bank and living a life of affluence. The president is really passionate about keeping taxes low for the wealthiest people, which is unsettling. Is it because the president is also on the list of the wealthiest people? It's difficult to imagine that the government would approve a law that would hurt their cash flow. Concerning cash flow, how many euros does the French president carry in his wallet? Emmanuel Macron's net worth is unclear, as we mentioned at the beginning of the video. Some sources place it at a startling 76 million, while others place it closer to 31 million. Surprisingly, some other sources portray him as having a considerably more humble financial situation, with a 196,000 euro annual salary and a net worth that barely exceeds 1 million euros. Averaging roughly 6,000 euros per year in capital gains, Macron has also done well. Additionally, he has received royalties from the 2016 publication of his book, Revolution. Bloomberg states that as of December 2021, Macron did not own any real estate or vehicles, but he had cash in multiple savings accounts. Now this raises the question of whether he's truly a modest man with modest riches or whether he only wants to appear that way to the people. President Macron currently resides in the Elysee Presidential Palace with his 69-year-old wife, Bridget Macron, and her three children from her previous marriage. Rumor has it, she's the reason behind all of Macron's eloquent speeches in public. Here are some fascinating facts about France's president. He enjoys boxing, skiing, tennis, and also piano playing. In addition, he enjoys watching football and is a huge admirer of the French team, Olympique de Marseille. What can be said about Macron's political views? He's generally regarded as a centrist, however some commentators have labeled him as a social liberal and others as a social democrat. In his book, Revolution, he referred to himself as a man of the left and a liberal. Since then, Macron has been described as an economic neoliberal with a sociocultural liberal point of view. The possibilities for Emmanuel Macron are virtually endless. Let us know your thoughts in the comments section below.